that weight fit now is, is good enough to win the Dublin, but to get to the Leinster final now, it's, uh, it's something else. So we're all really looking forward to it and everyone in the club can't wait. We met them two years ago in the Leinster final where um, basically, well, to be honest, they should, they should have beaten us and we are extremely lucky to, to come back from that and get the win. We are six points down and with the man down, so um, we are extremely lucky we got two hugely fortuitous goals. So uh, we are blessed to, to beat them on that occasion and they've won awfully, I think, five or six times in the last ten years, so I'd say they're, they're half favourites now, they've got a good bit of momentum behind them. It's a massive day, massive day for the club. Uh, two years ago was, uh, was a big day also, but um, you know, road pretty fell two years ago, they left the game behind. So um, you know, they're out to make amends this year, so you know, that provide us with a bit of a challenge as well. I'd say they're going as favourites, to be honest with you, you, you've, got, you've probably got the three Sullivans there. No, I'm McNamee, you know, Alan McNamee in the big in the middle of the pitch. So um, yeah, it'd be a massive challenge now, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people in other football put them down as favourites. Um, so yeah, it'll be a huge challenge in Port Leash, so we're looking forward to it. We've had good wins against uh, you know, Port Leash and in the quarter final and uh, Gary Castle in the semi final. Again, we kind of came back from the dead against Port Leash when we were seven points down, and against Gary Castle, it was fairly dodgy as well. So we only scraped through by one or two points. So it's been a, a tough road now. We've had a, a big break now because of all the snow, so uh, it'll be hard to get going again. So hopefully, we'll be able to produce the goals against Road. We're losing against Bally Bowden after three games last year in the Dublin Championship really, you know, nailed it into us what it meant. Um, so we came back this year, you know, a lot of injuries, I suppose. Some teams may have underestimated us. And uh, you know we're still missing a lot of people now for road, but um, as I said, it's a massive challenge. But we're all looking forward to it. That means a lot to to be doing well with the club. I suppose it's where a lot of my friends are from. That's where it, where I met from. You know, in the 14s, you know, back. So you know that, that's that's probably the big thing that I've taken out. You know, it's the friends I've made, but also success in the pitch. Obviously, it's it's a massive thing, and um, particularly I suppose with the brother there as well. It's a uh, it's an added incentive to do well. Uh, well, basically the whole family, myself and Ross play in the team, and then uh, my two younger brothers, Bill and Oshin, they play with um, lower age group with, uh, with their respective teams. And then my dad helps out with the hurling teams. And of course, my mum uh, helps out with the cooking uh, the odd time after the championship matches for the rest of the month for the meals for the players after. So pretty much everyone's, everyone's involved in everything. I think it'll be a hard graft. Road uh, would be very much up for it, having been beaten two years ago and having been beaten over the last few years in Leinster finals. Uh, they'll be very eager to settle a few scores. Kilmacud uh, will still be as tense on the day. Uh, they've had a hard time up to now and they probably haven't performed to optimum level to date. So I hope they can sort of... Uh, keep on the upward curve in sort of bringing home the goods.